uh, hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro little song there. Um, I want to tell you about one of my favorite products. I mean, honestly, this is one of those products that uh, if it broke or something happened to it, I would immediately go to the store and get another one because I, you know, it's funny, look at all these amps around me and you probably think, oh, you probably go downstairs and play all these freaking amps all the time. Honestly, I don't. I play them for the channel and I play them when I'm live and, you know, do some testing or whatever, but I play my Spark more than I play anything else. Um, I play it on my deck. I play it in my living room. If I took a trip somewhere, that's the first thing I would pack because it's just such a handy tool. It's, uh, it sounds amazing. It's fun to practice through. Uh, I got all the effects and the different amp tones that I need. The sound and the feel are great. If I want to run it through uh, headphones or just use the speakers, I can do that. Now I have the Spark 1 and I've probably had it for almost three years now and I'm not kidding you, it's my favorite piece of gear because like I said, I play it a lot. There's nothing better than coming out on my deck and lighting a cigar <laughs> Just practicing through that. I got my iPad here. I hook up to my Spark Amp via Bluetooth. All my backing tracks, like the one that you heard in the intro of this video, run through it. And I could practice as long as I want, and it just sounds amazing. I love it. And uh, now, just like the thumbnail says, um, the best practice amp just got better. And with the Spark 2, not only do you get all the amazing tones that you get in the Spark 1, you probably get some more. This is a first look at it you know I, i'm not doing a deep that deep dive but this is like a first impressions video and i'm sure there's plenty of videos out there where they do all the deep dives so watch those if you want to learn all the deep stuff but anyways um you get lots of tones you can do acoustic cleans uh like blues rock metal whatever you want it's all in here and uh they do have several of the of different kinds of effects to choose from so you don't just get like one delay you get several delays you get several different overdrives you get several different of each type of effect that you can choose from and you can dial everything in with the app that is um, in b-roll footage for you right now you can look at some of the uh, app functions and stuff and it's just a really handy tool and it sounds amazing now with this one um, what i like is uh, you have an onboard tuner so you can actually use the tuner uh, on the unit instead of just the app. So I'll, I'll show you that in the B-roll footage as well. And uh, what's cool about this one is you actually have the uh, left and right outs on it, unlike the uh, original Spark. So uh, that's what you heard in the mix. What you heard is this di hooked directly into my, my board, which goes into my interface. No processing or anything was done, and it sounds freaking killer. And um, what I like about that, especially for guys like me, um, if I want to um, just, I don't know, do like a quick local show or whatever, and I want to bring something light that sounds good, I can actually plug this into the mixer now or their board at whatever venue I'm playing, and it'll sound great through that, and I don't have to worry about running a headphone out and convert the cable and all that. So that's really cool. So I like the tuner. The app is amazing. I mean, it hooked up like that. I just I updated my app so it would work with the Spark 2. Updated immediately, hooked up to it without even having to do anything. I just turned on the Spark, you know, turn on the app and just boom, it was just hooked up and then there everything was. So I can adjust everything with the app I, and it was very easy to do. And uh, I just picked the amp that I like, which uh, was the Insane. So that's what I had in there. Let me double check. Yeah, it's the Insane. And then the overdrive I used was the... Uh, tube drive and I have the overdrive all the way down level all the way up and I crank the tone on it so I got that nice bite and this one's a little less thumpy than the spark one which is the one I have and uh, I think it sounds uh, you know tonally it sounds very similar it's just you got a little less boominess in it and uh, this is actually 10 watts more mine's the 40 this is the 50 so you got more wattage and I, I guess they have a new cab that you can hook this up to as well so it's just, I think it's a badass tool. And I'll tell you, back in like 10 years ago, like if we wanted a little practice amp like this, I mean, they were handy and they were very convenient, but they sounded like ass. You know, you plug into it and you're like, this thing sounds like crap. I'm not really inspired to practice or anything, but I'll grin and bear it just to get through the practice session and warm up backstage or whatever. And that's just the way it was back then. But with this, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, it sounds really freaking good. You're not gonna be gritting your teeth while you're playing and just kind of like, eh, you know, at least it's a practice session. 
it actually is inspiring to play through and it sounds really good. In fact, most of the solos that I've written on uh, the songs that I play on this channel, I wrote through this, I wrote with the spark because uh, that's what I practice through the most. So a lot of times when I'm, you know, writing, I'm up in my living room or on my deck just writing solos and it sounds great. So I don't have any issues with uh, the sound of it at all. And I have great effects and everything. So let's go ahead and place riffs on it right now and just listen to it. And uh, I think you're gonna really like what you hear. And what you're hearing sounds very, very similar to what you're gonna hear through the speakers on the unit. So I can attest to the speakers on this. They're, they sound really good. And they're really good for Bluetooth as well. So you can play music through them or whatnot. So um, again, I'm still hooked up direct, but let's just hear some riffs through it. And uh, I'll turn on the uh, delay as well when I'm uh, doing some lead stuff. And then you can hear what leads sound like through it as well. So there you go, there's some riffs and some lead stuff on it with the effects. Um, the delay I'm using is a digital delay and uh, I think that sounds really good. And um, again, I'm using the Insane amp and it just sounds really good, you know? I mean, you really can't go wrong with this thing. I, I guarantee you within like 10 minutes, you'll be up and running. Just fire it up, get the app, hook it up to uh, the Spark, it's very easy. It almost does it itself. You just open up the app and all of a sudden it just, they just connect and then just dial in your tones. You know, it's really simple, it's very intuitive, and find the amps that you want and uh, the tones that you want and hook up all your effects. I mean, it's just super simple to dial in. And you can also set up presets, which I'm not gonna show you in this video, because again, this is just the first impressions video, but you can hook up your presets, you can get the foot switch for it if you want, and shift through those if you want. I mean, it's just really, really simple. So. If you are looking for a very inspiring practice amp that sounds great, the feel is really good on it, you can run your backing tracks through it via uh, Bluetooth, and uh, it will be inspiring to play through. Again, you won't be doing the grip and grin session with it where you're like, oh, it sounds like shit, but hey, uh, at least I'm practicing. It actually sounds great. And uh, if you're looking for something like that, I honestly think that the Positive Grid Spark 2 is, is the way to go, or the Spark 1. I just like the, the new features on the Spark 2 because again, you can run the, you know, the stereo outs. You have the tuner built in. You have more amps to choose from. The, uh, the speakers in the unit are a little less boomy, so that, that's nice. And uh, man, I'm trying to think of the other features looper. that this has. The looper. The looper, oh yes, thank you, Paul. Paul, this is, Paul's off camera, but he actually brought this over. He bought it and he's letting me uh, do the demo for you guys. So everybody say hi to Paul and thank Paul for that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, I'm so glad you said something. Yeah, it's got the looper and the drum beats in it and stuff like that too. So um, I'm not gonna demo the looper here, but um, everybody knows what a looper does. You just record a backing track or some, you know, what I would do is I would probably record some clean guitars so I can hear the notes really good. And then I would write some solos over it. I've done that many times before on my Kemper. And that's something that, uh, I think every digital product should have as a looper. And I think the looper is a very good writing tool, especially for guys like me who don't know theory. I don't know theory at all. All my solos are trial and error and a lot of luck. Uh, and a lot of it comes from just looping the chords that I'm soloing over. And like I said, I did it for, with my Kemper for years. And having it on here is even better because uh, this is my main practice amp now. And having that looper or my backing tracks, I got the best of both worlds now. So like I said, uh, this, this is a highly recommended product by me for what it's worth for anyone looking to up their game on practicing and getting better at guitar. I mean, yeah, and another thing is you have the metronome. 
And that's something that I struggled with for years. I always hated practicing with metronomes because you can't hear them when you're practicing through amps or whatever. They're not loud enough or whatever. But on this in the app, you do have a metronome. So you could practice your sweeps or, you know, all the stuff that you want to practice. And it makes it easier and way more convenient. So now you have convenience with uh, no sacrifice. It sounds great and it's convenient too. And I'm glad that they up the uh, amps as well. So... Um, so yeah, if you want to get loud with it, it'll definitely get loud. And if you really want to get loud, you can hook it up to the external cab that they're selling now. And I think that's pretty freaking badass as well. Run on battery too. Oh, that's right. And you can run this thing on a battery. You can get the battery. I think the battery comes separate, right? Separate. Yeah, you get a buy it battery and just run it separate off of that. So if you're going camping or whatever, you now you got something that you can run on a battery. So that's just freaking badass, man. It's just such a cool unit. And it feels like... To me, they thought of everything on this product. They really didn't leave anything out. This is really like a, a no-brainer practice tool, and um, I just think it uh, checks every box. I really do. It's just freaking awesome. So, uh, again, for what it's worth, for me, I would recommend it. I highly recommend it, and uh, I'm probably going to be upgrading to this because I do like the extra features and stuff, and I just think it's freaking cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. Again, this is just a quick look at it, and uh, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, deep dives out there, but uh, I'm on limited time here, so I want to just get this video done for you. But uh, I think it sounds awesome. So go get one of these, seriously, and you're going to enjoy practicing more than you ever did. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys. And I want to also thank everyone who's been purchasing the uh, Quad Cortex, Tonex, and Kemper preset and profile packs for my website. I really appreciate that. My website's linked in the description of this video. So again, thank you guys so much. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I either go live or come out with another episode. I got a lot more stuff coming up for you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.